There can be a number of people on a head and neck cancer patients care team. Would you give us an overview of who these team members might be and what their roles are? Absolutely. And, you know, this is one thing actually that I enjoy about treating head and neck cancer, which is that, you know, because of the complexity of the head and neck in general, um, cancers that arise really do require a multidisciplinary team to figure out what the best treatment approach is. And not only that, but most of the treatment plans that we incorporate for the treatment of head and neck cancer involve um, a very large and robust support team that provide different uh, perspectives and help in optimizing outcomes for patients. Um, so the, the three types of oncologists that you know, in, in, our, in our program, for example, all new patients that come in meet all three of these types of oncologists. So uh, one is an ENT or a head and neck oncologist or a head and neck surgeon. That's uh, one important member of the team. Um, the second is a uh, radiation oncologist. So a radiation oncologist uh, is the uh, team member that uh, uses radiation to treat head and neck cancer. And the third is someone like myself, a medical oncology. Uh, we're the ones that do the chemotherapy or other types of systemic therapy or, or other types of, of things like that. And those are really the three tools and the three oncologists that use those tools to figure out what the best treatment approach is. Uh, however, because many of the treatments that we give, whether it's surgical treatment or whether it's some combination of chemotherapy and radiation or chemo radiation, um, there's many side effects of treatment. And as such, there are many other uh, team members that are involved in supporting patients and optimizing outcomes through any of those treatment modalities. So that oftentimes involves um, specialized nursing, uh, speech and swallow uh, doctors and pathologists, uh, dentistry and post prosthodontics. Sometimes other types of surgeons are involved, like neurosurgeons or skull-based surgeons uh, or nasal nasopharynx surgeons as well, as well as nutrition and dietitian, physical therapy, psychosocial supportive services. Um, I'm probably missing many, but on and on, you know, really um, are all involved in the care of patients during treatment. And not only that, but even in the non-patient facing side, there are other team members also that are very important that a patient may not meet, such as the pathologists that help us determine the subtype of the cancer, um, whether it's HPV related or not. Sometimes some of the genomic markers and things like that, that can be very important or immune markers that are very important for treatment decisions. Uh, we have radiologists that have expertise in the head and neck space that help us, you know, determine exactly the extent of the disease and look at the imaging in a, in a multidisciplinary fashion. Um, again, I probably missed some of the team members um, offhand, but yes, it's definitely a team sport, which is, um, which is really, really important. Mm -hmm.